I literally like didn't even realize. I have a huge collection of mouse ears. Hello you guys, it is Karen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello there. My name is Karen and I make new, fun, and entertaining content every single week for you guys. So you should definitely hit that subscribe button down there so that you do not miss out on all of my brand new videos and shorts. As I was preparing for an upcoming Disney World trip, I started like looking at my mouse ears and I was like, man, this would be a really good video idea for me to show you my huge mouse ear collection. I literally have these two giant bins that are full of Mickey ears. Before we go on, let me just say this. I don't like own all of these completely by myself because there's no way I would be able to wear all these, but these are like my sister and I's collection. She normally gets a lot from like the Disney outlet stores that are in Orlando and they have them for like super cheap prices. And then we just kind of like collected them over the years. So basically in this video, I'm going to go through my huge collection and show you guys every single pair, tell you about it, and then I'm gonna rank my top three favorite mouse ears. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna show you like my newest pair first. This is the yellow quilted headband from Shop Disney or you can also get it in the parks as well. Honestly, these are so cute and they also match like a lot more than I thought. Obviously they match white, but really they look good with blue one time I wore and like a light pink would be so cute with these. This one is $34.99. So I'm gonna go through these like basic ones. These are just the basic red and white polka dot ones. And then I also have the lavender and white polka dot. Yeah, these are super old i've had these since probably about four or five years ago so they probably don't even sell them anymore next up we have these hot pink sequin ones love these as well honestly i haven't worn these in a while but i should i tend to not even wear the sequin ears anymore i'm really more into like the quilted ones or like the soft ones the sequin ones they just kind of aggravate me and they're super tight on my head in addition to those other polka dot ones i also have these gold and black polka dot ears they also have the sequins and then just a black headband next up we have have the Minnie Mouse sequin ear headband and this is in the mint color but I love the color of these literally so unique this would look so cute with just white and like any lighter colors and I love like how the bow is made of satin okay so these are the 2020 ears they're really pretty blue I literally love these so much like if I just wear like a Lululemon outfit just any casual outfit I'll always wear these so that I have like a statement mouse ear on my head and then on the ears we have all of the these colors we got some green red silver and blue these are one of my favorites I was obsessed with these back in 2019 these are the rose gold ears with the sequin bow and just sparkly ears so these used to be my favorite these are like light pink ears and they have sequins and sequins on the ears next up I'm showing you guys literally the pair of ears that I wear the most and it's just the black and white polka dot ones I got these maybe two years ago maybe and then I also got a pair so like my sister and I both have are separate pairs and these just match with everything they're not too like bulky and like heavy on your head because some of the ears tend to be like really top heavy and give you headaches but these are just perfect and really comfortable these will definitely be one of my favorites Next up, we have the Coral Minnie Mouse Ears. Really love these. They say they have a shimmering coral sequin ears and then a metallic fabric bow. Definitely a unique fabric, something that I like haven't seen on any of the other ears. So this next pair is like a lounge fly pair and they are the Pixar ball ears. And then on the side right here, you can see that it says, it's like the lounge fly tag. And these still have a tag on them, so never worn them, but they're really cute, especially if you go to like Toy Story Land and take some pictures. These would be really cute next to the picture our ball this is like my sister's first pair of like headband mouse ears and they are super old and they're really like flimsy like these ears feel like they're about to fall off but they're just these super soft giraffe ears I think she bought them at Animal Kingdom but they're a really cute memory next up we have silver mouse ears with this beautiful bow I don't know what this is made out of but this was also like one of my first pairs along with along with these they definitely still sell these they're like the sequin black and red mini ears just like a sequin bow and sequin ears these are kind of like the same style but just in two different colors so these are the sherpa mini ears literally love these so much the inside of the headband is sherpa and then the bow is also sherpa as well and then on the ears we just have this really cute tie-dye color with like pink orange yellow and light purple the reason why we haven't taken the tags off and we haven't worn them yet is because these would be so cute in like the winter whenever like you actually maybe get to wear like long sleeves and really cozy outfits since it's a little bit 
colder outside but we haven't had that luck yet so we haven't been able to wear these but definitely as soon as it gets cold we'll definitely be wearing these next up we have another pair of sherpa mini ears and these are in white and light pink if i had to pick a favorite i think these would be my favorite but yeah love these like a white sweater with leggings these would be literally so cute and i also love how they say stay cozy on the left side of the headband next up we have the arendelle aqua ears this thing says they're from 2020 i don't know if that's 100 percent true but yeah super pretty light blue color with sequins and this shiny shimmering bow i'm not a fan of the sequin ears so i'm not gonna say these are my favorite these are like these super fuzzy furry mickey mouse ears they don't have any detail to them they're just like literal ears so they're nice if like you don't really want to wear or anything that's super bold but you still want to wear an ear i feel like they kind of look dumb on my head yeah i don't think i'd ever wear those those are probably my sisters we have another pair of super cool animal ears probably from animal kingdom these are giraffe ears you can literally see like the upgrade like how like boring and flimsy these are and then this is what we have now next up we have this dark red sequin headband again just traditional with red so i probably would wear these around christmas time speaking of the holidays i have a ton of christmas ears that I'm just gonna share with you super quickly. I don't want to like bore you with them. These still have the tags on them, but these are literally adorable and so cute for Christmas. They have a peppermint in the center and then a green sequin bow, red padded mouse ears with some white kind of Sherpa material. And then they also have like this peppermint green and white headband. Next up, we have these peppermint mouse ears. Okay, so these are just black sequin with this plaid bow that's made out of satin. Then we have these red and green and a little bit of silver snowflake ears they have the padded mouse ears with snowflakes and then a green sequin bow and then last but certainly not least my favorite pair of christmas mouse ears they're just like so cute i love how they fit and they're not like too big because those like black just furry mouse ears that i showed you guys earlier those mickey mouse ones the ears just went way too far up and i just feel stupid wearing them on the bow they have these two pairs of mouse ears and then snowflakes and then this just christmas pattern and then these super fuzzy mouse ears that are super small so these are unique like i haven't seen these too much but i really really like these next up since we're on the topic of holidays i have two pairs of halloween ears first off we have these candy corn ears they are black and orange with a candy corn accented bow and then secondly we have orange and black ears just a black and orange polka dot bow with some sequin orange ears these are super cute for halloween especially if you're not dressing up but you still want to have like halloween aesthetic and style next up we have some fourth of july slash memorial day ears these are just white stars with a white bow they have some silver stars also on them all sequins and then we also have these they have white stars and then this really cute bow it's kind of like a bandana these are the it's a small world ears then we have the champagne shimmer mouse ears honestly it could pass as like a beige so definitely would match a lot of outfits then we have the lilac purple headband so it says they are chunky glitter ears plus a metallic simulated leather band and bow yeah it kind of feels like a leather like all of this surrounding the ears and then also on the sides of the headbands and this even feels like some sort of leather and they're calling it simulated leather Next up, we have this super old pair of ears, but they're still, honestly, one of my favorites. These are the 2018 Attraction Ears, and on them, we just have various things like Minnie Mouse, also Space Mountain. I see Mad Tea Party on there, and then these dark blue sequin ears as well with the light blue satin bow. Yeah, these might be like from 2021. They were calling them the Velvet Castle Ears because the gray and gold color scheme kind of reminds them of Cinderella Castle, kind of like before its refurbishment with like the new colors. I found another pair of like animal print ears that I forgot to show you guys earlier. These are some leopard sequin ears. Next up, we have the Sorcerer Moon Star Ears. Those definitely are old. I don't know what year those are from. These are classic. These are the Epcot Bubblegum Wall Ears. I remember my sister and I wanted these so bad back whenever Bubblegum Wall was like a brand new trend. I don't know when's the last time I've worn these. And last but certainly not least, I feel like that took forever and I was just like shocked about some of the ears that I just found. But these are the Olive Green Headband. Really, really like these. But these are probably one of my newest ones. 
So like in the pleated kind of bow, there's like green and there's like a little bit of browns and some like tan colors. And then they have the olive green ears. I just found out that these were originally $29.99 when they came out, but definitely the price has increased. I know they like keep going up on the price of them. These are definitely like a really good fall ear, winter ear, just because it would go with like kind of those darker color schemes. That took forever, but that is my mouse ear collection. I hope you guys enjoy kind of seeing that. But now I'm going to rank my top three favorite headbands. In third place, we have the Sherpa Pink Mini Ears. Really, really like these for winter. And I know they saw the tags on them, so it's like, how could that be one of your favorites? But I'm literally so excited to wear these. I just want it to get cold so bad whenever I go to Disney World so that I can wear these. Number two, we have the Yellow Quilted Ears. These are brand new. These kind of had an unfair advantage. I didn't think that I was going to like them on when I first saw them because I kind of like contemplated whether or not to buy them. But once I wore them with like my tennis dress one time, I'll like pop the picture up. I realized how much they accent outfits and they can match with a lot more things than I thought they could. So these quickly earned a spot on my favorite list. And then my favorite pair of mouse ears, drum roll please. <laughs> It is the black and white polka dot headband. These are just amazing because I like things that match and they're not like too bold. But I wear these so often. I mean, I wear them often enough to where my sister and I had to buy two separate pairs. I love how they don't give me a headache because some of the mouse ears push really hard on like my head and then they give me this really bad headache and it just gets worse with like the heat. You just can't go wrong with these. And like my suggestion to you is if you're looking for like a first pair of mouse ears, if you're looking to like start a collection, this is definitely where you should start. I really think these are a staple for any mouse ear collection. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there so that you do not miss out on all of my brand new videos and shorts every single week. It's literally always such a fun time here on this channel. So definitely just hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss out. And yeah, I think that's about it. I'm really glad I did that and went through them just so I know what I have now because honestly, they were sitting in those bins and I kind of like forgot about some of my favorite ears. So now I kind of have an idea of which ones I want to bring for my next trip. So I love you guys all so much from the bottom of my heart and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye guys. Slow down.